Hi, this is Maria from Crochet A to Z. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please push that subscribe button. If you have, I want to thank you. I want to thank everyone for being here today and happy, happy Saturday. I hope everyone is having a great day and a great weekend. So here we are, block number five. Very exciting. We're on block number five of our crochet along, crochet at your own pace, Afghan. And this is block number five. I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. And we're going to crochet together. This is one of those, take your own time, make it when you want, make the blocks when you want. You can make them in a day. If you want to wait and make one a week, if you want to make two a week, whatever you want to do, it's at your own pace, at your own time. That's what this is, a fun project for the spring and summer and, and fall. And you can do this at your own pace and carry it along with you anywhere you go and do your block. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. I wanna just mention this is a Premier yarn. It's a great yarn. It is a Premier and it's white. Uh, the tutorial that I'm going to do, I'm gonna use basic stitch anti-pilling. This is also an anti-pilling yarn. I have to say that in all the years that I've been making crocheted afghans and blankets, I don't always use anti-pilling. It depends on the yarn that I use. But yes, um, it is great if you can get it and you can use it. So this is a Lion brand again, and it is, let me show you, it is Baby Pink. That's the name of it. So for this tutorial, when we're making these uh, squares, we have to use a J hook. So I just want to remind you, I know you've been doing, well, this is be the fifth one, but I just want to put the reminder out there. So let's get started with this pattern. And this is great. So what we're going to do is as we usually do, and if you're new to this and you haven't done any of the blocks yet, but want to get involved because it's not too late to get involved and make them, because like I said, it's at your own pace. So no worries. You can get in on five. You can get in on six. It doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a slip knot and I am going to I'm going to just pull out a little bit we're going to chain 34 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. These are your chains. This is your working chain all the time. At the end, you have your slip knot and it's not considered a chain. I like to say that for anyone that's new and you're looking at this and saying, I think I want to try this because this is for our beginners to advanced and anyone in between. So I just want to mention that as well. And I'm going to just pull my little Thing here so I can just just pull this yarn and now what we're going to do is and you're gonna see these are V's for you that are new those V's are your chains so what we're gonna do now is in the fourth chain from the hook the fourth chain one two three four we're gonna go in there and we're gonna make a double crochet Now I want to mention that this is considered a double crochet and this is your second double crochet. It's important that I point that out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, two, and three. Now we're going to skip three 
chains. We're going to skip one. And don't count. You Make sure you look because if you're new to this, make sure it's not where you already have a double crochet. So you want to go to the next one. One, two, and three. In that third chain, you're going to skip. But in the next chain, you're going to make a double crochet. So in that third chain, you will skip that third chain because you're going to skip three chains and you're going to make a double crochet. So now what you're going to do, and I'm going to put this down so you can see what happened here. So here's your two double crochets. And here's another double crochet after you chained, after you did a chain three. And at the bottom, when you do your chain three, you're going to skip three chains. So once you do that, in the next stitch next to that double crochet, you're going to make a double crochet. So this pattern and this particular um, square is actually a shell stitch square but we'll I'll show you that once we get there so now we're going to chain one we're going to chain two and we're going to chain three we're going to skip one two three and in that fourth one we're going to make a double crochet and I want to mention you skip again three and you're going to make a double crochet and then in the next chain you're going to make another double crochet so this is what it looks like it almost looks like a ladder and then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one chain two chain three skip one skip two skip three in the fourth one we're going to make a double crochet. In the next chain, we're going to make a double crochet. We're going to chain one, two, three. We're going to skip one, two, and three. And in the fourth one, we're going to make a double crochet. And as you see, we're doing this right across. So we're going to make another double crochet in the next one, the next chain next to that double crochet. And what we've essentially done is we've made two double crochets together, and then we've chained three and skipped three. And we're going to do this right along the bottom. So we're going to see that one, two, three, and up along the bottom, you're going to skip one, two, three, and in the fourth one to make two double crochets. Chain one, chain two, chain three. And again, one, two, three. The fourth one, we make a double crochet. And you'll see that you're getting to the end and the last stitch you're going to make a double crochet. So you'll end it the way you began it. So you have a double crochet in the two double crochets, two double crochets. So that's how you know that you're fine. And this is what it looks like and I'll go in close so you can see it. So essentially, this is what we did. We did this row. So now we're going to do is, and I'm going to, we're going to chain one, chain two, and chain three. And we're going to turn our work. That counts again as a double crochet. Just want to let you know. So you chain three and you did change your work. Now this is where it's a two row repeat. So you're going to do a two row repeat for every row that you do. 
and you want to get it to the point that you have a nine and a half inch square now everybody t uh, crochets differently tighter looser so just make sure that it's the same size as all the other ones that you've made thus far if you've made them so now what we're going to do is we're going to work in this chain three space and this is where we're going to put our shells in so what's going to happen is you're going to make one two three four and can I just cut back a little bit and five so you're going to make five double crochets in that chain three space one two three four five so then once you do that you're going to skip over these two double crochets from below right you're going to skip right over these and i'm going to show you because you're going to it's going to look like you're going to go from there to there so once you do that you're going to go into the next chain three space and you're going to make five double crochets And again, like I said, you want to have a nine and a half inch square or as close to that as possible because everybody crochets differently. You may crochet a little tighter, but if it's the same size as your other squares, you're fine. And we, and if it's a little short, falls a little short, we can, you can block it. And I will show you that process in another video but one two three four five so see you now you have five shells here and five shells here and I want to show you what I mean by when you make your your square it's going to be the same size as all the other ones so as long as you do that you're golden you're fine and Everybody crochets a little differently, a little tighter, a little looser. So that's going to make an impact too. But as long as they are the same size as your other ones. So now we're going to go in here and we're going to do five more double crochets. And this is the pattern. It's a two row repeat of your shells. And your basic row that you did when you started so we're going to do five more here and now we're going to move on to the next one and we're going to do five and you're going to go over you're going to skip these two spaces And that's what it looks like. Let's see your five. One, two, three, four, five. Five here. Then you go to the next one. And you make five more because you're going to, like I said, you're going to keep going and going. Oop, the label just fell on the floor. And we're going to go right across. three, four, and five. There you go. 
in at the very end nothing's going to change because you still got a spot where your three chain three is so you still got a spot to go into you're going to put five and this has become easier to manipulate once you do these two rows just want to mention that in the beginning it might be a little bit like a little bit problematic like holding it and getting everything but you'll be fine so there's your five now at the very end we're going to end the way we began so if you notice there's two double crochets from below you're going to go into that last one where that chain three spaces and in the third chain you're just going to put a double crochet so you're going to skip the double crochet from below and go to the end and put a double crochet there and that's what it looks like so now what we've done is we've done this row and this row so now again this is a two row repeat and i want to mention that i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15. I have 15 rows. So some will have less, some will have more, depending on how you crochet. But if you get to the point where you're the same size as your <clears throat> other uh, squares, you're going to be fine. So just figure you could have anywhere in that vicinity. So I just want to mention that. So now again, we're going to chain one, chain two, and chain three. We're going to turn our work. That's considered our first double crochet. So now what we're going to do is in the double crochet from right here, I just want to show you, we're going to work a double crochet. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to skip one, two, three. See how it gets repetitive, but just make this your two row repeat because it's going to, now it's going to mimic down here, but because you're going in the shells from below, it look, it's a little different from that first row because there were no shells there. So you're going to do the double crochet and the double crochet in the first double crochet that's in that shell. You're going to skip one, two, three double crochets from that shell, and you're going to go into this, this one here, and you're going to put a double crochet there. So I want you to just remind you, I'm going to pull out because once you do this double crochet and this double crochet, you're going to skip one, two, three. But before you do that, you're going to chain one, two, three. Then after you do that, you're going to move on and you're going to skip one, two, three. So let me start over again. Once you've finished that row, you're going to chain one, two, three. You're going to turn your work around and in the first double crochet from that shell from below, you're going to put another double crochet. So this is going to mimic what you did that first row to a certain degree because it's a little different because you don't have your shells. So now what you're going to do is chain one, chain two, and chain three. You're going to skip one, two, three of your shells and you're going to go in this last one and you're going to put a double crochet. Then in this next first shell of the next space where your shells are, you're going to make a double crochet. Now what you're doing is you're mimicking this from below. So now you're going to chain one, chain two, 
and chain three. And then you're gonna skip one, two, three. And in this last shell, or the last double crochet of the shell, you're gonna put a double crochet. So then in the next shell right here, that starts the next five, you're going to put a double crochet. You're gonna chain one, chain two, chain three. You're going to skip one, two, three, and in this last double crochet, you're going to put a double crochet. Once you do that, you're going to go into this first double crochet, the next shell over, and put a double crochet. Then you're gonna chain one, you're gonna chain two, and you're gonna chain three. And you're gonna go into this next, once you do that, one, two, three, you're gonna to go to the next and last chain, uh, double crochet of that shell, and you're gonna put a double crochet. So think of it as you're making your ladders. So you're gonna do a double crochet in the first double crochet from the shell of the next five shells. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna keep mimicking what we did below. One, two, and three. Once you chain three, you find that last shell of that, of those five, and you put a double crochet in that shell. Once you do that, you find the first shell of the next five shells and you put a double crochet in that from below. Now you're gonna chain one, chain two, and chain three. Then you're gonna look across and you're gonna say one, two, three, and in that last double crochet of that shell, you're gonna put a double crochet. And this is at the end now. You're at the end of your of your square that you're gonna make. And now you've got one left and you are gonna put a double crochet at the very end because you wanna have two double crochets in the end. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty and I wanna just show you. So now you're going to go to the next row of your row of your two row repeats. So this is row one, and this is gonna be now row two. So you're gonna chain one, chain two, and chain three. You're going to turn your work around. Now, I wanna just mention, and I'm gonna go close, because this is gonna be row two, because row two is where you make your shells. I'm gonna just pull that out of the way. Row two is where you make your shells. So I want to emphasize that when you are on row two of your two row repeat, you do not have to put another double crochet here. You're going to jump double crochet. You're going to jump right into these um, chain three spaces, which means you're going to never do anything in here. So Let's go. So you're gonna put five double crochets right in that chain three space. So you do one, you do two, you do three, you do four, and you do five. And yes, this would make a very nice uh, shawl or a half can too, if you wanted to just do that. It's just, this is a very versatile stitch. So now you made your five. So you're golden. You're gonna go into this next chain three space and make five more. And you wouldn't think that you would be able to do that because you'd say, well, nothing in between because, but it doesn't, because you're making so many double crochets, you don't have to do any 
stitches between this. And the row one is your guide. It guides you to your next row. So one, two, three, four, five. So now we're gonna go into that next chain three space and we're gonna make five more double crochets. And this is, without a doubt, a real pretty shell stitch pattern. And with every block that you make, you if you've never crocheted before, you're learning something new. So now, see, you've got these two double crochets. You don't have to worry about doing anything in these stitches. You're going to move to this next chain three space with your five double crochets. And this is so nice, so easy, and such fun. And these cro this crochet along at your own pace blocks are fun, and they put no stress on you because you just say, okay, I, you know what? I don't have time to crochet today. I don't have time to think about making going forward in this pattern i just i can't go think about this afghan today i'm too busy that's fine you pick it up the next time the next time you have time whether it's a week from now a month from now three days it doesn't matter because this is at your own pace this is what makes this project fun so now we're going to do is we're going to go into this next chain three space with five double crochets that in fact make up your shell. And if you put too many in there, no worries, you just pull it out. Once you know this pattern, once you know what you're going to do in those two rows, it's going to be very easy for you to just move forward. And I want to show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? And like I said, it's just a pretty pattern. And I wanted to show you what it looks like. So there you go. That's what it... In the different colors, it's very pretty. So now, right here, once again, we're moving forward and we're putting in five double crochets, which make up our shell. And this is our last shell that we have to make for this row. And again, it's a two row repeat. One, two, three, four, Five. So what do we do? We skip this double crochet and we go into this chain three, the top of that chain three space. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. It's all the pollen that's out there. And we make a double crochet. The pollen has really gotten me this time around. But that's, I want to show you what it looks like. I'm going to go in close so you can see it. And that's what that's going to look like. So I want to let you see it up close and personal so you can see that this is what it looks like. So then once you do that, and I'm going to pull out, I want you to see that Yeah, now you're going to chain one, chain two, chain three you always always chain three i want to mention that to you always chain three now what you're going to do is you're going to turn your work around and now why i'm going slow here is i want to you know just remind you that this is your two row repeat so this is important and your two row repeat. This is row one of your two row repeat. Row two is your shells. 
So once you do that, what you're going to do is this is your first double crochet. In this first double crochet from below of that five shells, you're going to make a double crochet. Once you do that, you're going to chain one, two, three. Because you have to make that bridge, let's call it a bridge, for your five double crochets to sit on. Then you're going to go and you're going to skip one, skip two, skip three of the double crochets from below. And in this very last one, you're going to put a double crochet. Then in the next one, the first one from the next shell, you're going to put a double crochet. So just think of it as you're building bridges. Think of it as you're building your bridge. So now you got to chain one, chain two, chain three. You're going to skip one, two, three in the last one of the double crochets of the shell. You're going to put a double crochet in the first double crochet, the next set of shells, you're going to put a double crochet because you're building your bridge. You're going to chain one, you're going to chain two, and you're going to chain three. That chain three again is very, very important because that's where your five double crochets or your shell stitch sits. So now we're going to go to the other side at the very last shell of this five shells and we're going to put double crochet and then a double crochet in the first of the shells which is fine of the next row of shells then we're going to chain one chain two chain three we're going to skip one two three one two three and in the last shell of that or should i say the last well we can say the last a uh, double crochet of that shell, we're going to put a double crochet. So now what we did is we did that. So we're going to go to the next shell of the first one of the next set of shells, and we're going to put a double crochet. Chain one, chain two, chain three, because we are, after all, building a bridge. In that last shell from this set of shells, we're going to put a double crochet. Then we're going to put a double crochet in the first shell of the next set of shells. This is row one of your two row repeat. We're going to chain one, chain two, chain three. Now we're at the end. So at the end, we're going to find our last double crochet of that shell set of shells and we're going to put a double crochet and then we're going to say okay we've got to finish this row because we've got to have two double crochets next to each other and in that chain three space at the very tippity top we're going to put a double crochet and now that's what that looks like and now we're going to go to our row two and we're going to chain one chain two and chain three we're going to turn our work around and because we made our bridges we're going to make five shells in every on every bridge that we have on every bridge that we have we're going to make our five shells and this is the way it's going to be until you finish your block and you have a nine and a half or thus so size block, a block that will be the same size as your shells, uh, as your other blocks. Now you could go 13 rows with this, depending on how loosely or tightly you crochet. So don't be afraid and say, oh, I did something wrong. If you go beyond 13 rows, it's okay. As long as you get it 
so that it's the size of all the blocks that you have. And I'm going to count and show you once I get, because I want it. I don't like to leave you in the middle of something. I always like to finish my row off if I can. But this is your row two, again, of your two row repeat of this block. We're just going to go right along we're at the end and we're on one more bridge that we've got to put our five um, double crochets so let's put our five in here and this is a very pretty shell pattern block so we miss don't do that one we're going to skip over it we're not going to miss it we're going to skip over it <laughs> and we're going to go in this last chain three space and make a double crochet and now again this is your two row repeat so this is row two the next row will chain chain three and then you'll put another double crochet in this one and you'll go like you did all the other rows until you get to the desired um, width, or should I say, the de desired block size you need. And this is the way it looks. Isn't that pretty? It's a really pretty, pretty pattern. And again, here it is right here. And I just want to mention that you can go 13 rows, but it depends on how you crochet. I did one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I had to do 15 rows. I crochet a little tighter than most. So you may have to do 15 rows as long as you're at that nine, nine and a half inch square. Or like I said, as long as it's the same size as your other squares and which mine is and then like all the other squares you're going to finish this off the same way and I have a video for that that's part two of your part one and it is how to finish this off you finish it off three single crochets in each corner 25 single crochets across three in the corner 25 single crochets up the side, three in the corner, 25 single crochets on the top, three single crochets in the corner, and 25 single crochets on this side. So all the way around, you do 25 single crochets. At each corner, you do three single crochets. That's how we finish off all the blocks. And I do have part two of part one, that shows you how to finish off the blocks. And they're all the same. Three in the corner, three single crochets, 25 on the side, 25 on the top, 25 on the bottom. This is Maria from Crochet A to Z. I hope you liked this tutorial of block number five of our crochet along at your own pace, Afghan. Thank you very much. Have a great day loved having you here and I hope you're enjoying this series and I hope you're crocheting, crocheting along with all of us as we finish and go towards making our next block. Block number six will be out sometime next week at the end of next week but I do have other uh, 
tutorials that I have that are coming in between. So again, this is block number five, and I want to put out the other one that's here as well. I also want to mention all the blocks have a right and a wrong side to them. So, um, and I'm going to show you the ones, how you should distinguish between the blocks so that you put them, and I will show you that, so that you, you put them all facing the same way. So I will I will be going through that as well. Even though we've gone back and forth and when I say is turn them, I think that a one way of showing putting them together should be the best could be the best way of doing it. Um there isn't a big big difference, but I think there is enough of a difference that you should put them all the same way. So but I'll show you how to distinguish what the front and the back is or the right side and the wrong side. So again, this is Marie from Crochet A to Z. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye and love you all.